Okay, I've spent some time designing your kitchen, obviously, trying to understand your f the feedback you gave me during our last meeting, and I'm going to walk you around the kitchen. We shall start at the island. From here to here I've got 39 inches. From here to here I have 39 inches. From here to here I have about 39 inches. From here to here I've got much more than that. It's probably another two feet so it's three, four, five. So it's probably about five feet and change. So is there an opportunity to put some more cabinetry over here? Maybe. Might look a little strange, but maybe. Can I move this hole on in this way? I'd rather not, because that would shrink this measurement of 39 inches. So having said that, let's look at the island. I've got a little work surface or work area here with some storage. You can see the four drawers, base cabinet with a drawer and a door. Then I've got some seating. Do you have room for six seats? I think that's what you wanted. And I would say no. A seat comfortably needs about 30 inches of space. But I can certainly put four seats there. That's easy, I would say. So I put some wainscoting panel uh, behind the seats just to finish the back of the cabinets off that are on, on this side. This cabinet here would have roll-out trays with a drawer. Bank of four drawers, roll-out trays with a drawer. This is all 24 inch deep storage, which is very standard in a kitchen. So that's how I have the island shape. Then I put a post on the end just to support the countertop. You can see that post right there. Then over on the perimeter of the kitchen. I haven't put any wall cabinet over the refrigerator, but I can. Got a cabinet, base cabinet with a drawer, sink base cabinet, dishwasher. Snuck in between the dishwasher and the stove is not my favorite cabinet. It is a blind corner cabinet. Again, this is not my favorite cabinet to put there, but I don't have much of a choice. Then I put some wall cabinets that have two sections to them. These are called stack cabinets, but they're all attached together. And we've got glass, 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 and glass. These doors here would be solid. So that gives you that splash of glass you wanted. If you want all this glass, you can. You can do that. Then we have the microwave over the stove. In the rather small pantry closet, try and maneuver this in the right place. We have a cabinet here. It has four drawers. Next to the four drawer cabinet is a super lazy Susan with two trays that spin independently of each other on a fixed shelf. Trays 32 inches wide or in diameter I should say. The tray looks like a Pac-Man.
Then over here to the right of the Super Susan is another base cabinet with a drawer and a door, 12 inches wide. Then you have base, various wall cabinets with adjustable shelves. And then I put some crown molding. And in theory, that would touch the ceiling. Just like this crown molding to the right of your kitchen window. And then over here, we have a cabinet with a landing area. 12-inch deep cabinet. That is what I've designed thus far. Let me know if you think I'm on the right track or if you would like to experiment with some changes.